This module will illustrate simple positioning techniques that will allow you to capture distortion-free radiographs every time. So let us start with understanding the, to the tools or the parts available in the positioning kit. So you will get three different rods for holding the positioners. One is for the endo and it is written there on the ro rod so there is no confusion. The, the second rod is for posterior and anterior scans and the straight rod is for bite wing. You will get two rings for actually three rings but two of two of these are uh, are similar so there is uh, a pair of uh, the posterior anterior and endo rings which has two holders for the bars and one is for the bite wing which is only one holder for the bar <coughs> and then the the color coded positioners red are for the bite wing so there are two holders for the bite wing scans one is vertical and one is horizontal the blue is for anterior and anterior scan is mainly in the vertical position so there is only one holder for the anterior <coughs> yellow is for posterior and posterior scans are um, in horizontal position so there is only one horizontal positioner for the posteriors and green are for endo scans so there are two position there are two positioners for vertical scan and two for horizontal so upper right and lower left in horizontal and upper left and lower right in horizontal similarly upper left and lower right and lower left and upper right in vertical position so let us start with assembling our our accessories for taking the scan so we will start with the bite wing holders so for bite wing we will need our red holders the straight bar which is for bite wing and the bite wing aiming ring which has only one holder for the bar and of course our sensor so we will start with the vertical bite wing holder the first thing is to assemble the sensor on the holder so we need to make sure that the active area of the sensor the side on, on which index is written should face the plate of the holder then the, the, there is a slot for the bar so insert the bar in this given slot and now the bar goes in the aiming ring we need to make sure that the sensor is exactly in the center of the ring and there is a there is a holder for the wire so you can align the wire in the holder and hold it like this so we are all set to take our bite wing x-ray in horizontal position so So for this, we need to align the sensor, we need to align the positioner like this and the patient needs to bite, the patient needs to bite on this surface. Okay, so it, it, will, it will go like this and patient will bite on this. So this is for the the right side and for the left side for both and the x-ray can go in like this in the aiming ring okay so we know that the x-ray x-ray tube will will um, aim here on the ring so we will not use we will not illustrate the use of x-ray every time in this video okay so next is the
the positioning for the horizontal white wing and for horizontal again the same rule the active area of the sensor should face the flat plate on the like this or in fact it should be like this so that the wire comes here like this and then so this is the vertical white wing again for both sides for right and for left as well so we need not to worry about the wire because the patient is going to bite on the surface of the holder not, and not on the wire like this. and we also need to make sure that the aiming ring is as close aiming ring should be close to the patient to avoid any type of distortion or magnification or any other noise in the image okay so next is next is the interior holder so for the interior it is the blue hold the blue holder We use the blue holder to hold our sensor. The rule is same, the active area and the flat surface. And for interior, we use the ring, which has two holders, and the rod for interior scan. And then we place the rod, we insert our sensor like this in the slots given, and we are good to go. Again, our sensor should be in the center of the aiming ring. The most common um, misconfiguration is um, aligning the sensor like this or maybe the bar like this, which is not a correct position. So the bar should be like this and the sensor should face up. The thumb rule is it should be in the center of the ring and again this is for the upper and the lower. The canine position on the upper side and the lower side. The next is the yellow holder and which is for the endo the ring aiming ring and the bar should be same for this and again we need to align the sensor like this and it should go in the holder like this and it should be in the center of the ring and this is also for all the anatomies this is upper upper molars then we can go for the lowers similarly here also for the posteriors uppers and the lower okay the next is the endo in the last is the green positioners which are for endo so the the vertical and the horizontal so let us start with the vertical positioners we have to first align our positioner in the rod and we need to make sure that this is in the center of the ring now we have our sensor we need to hold the sensor in this holder like this now we take ready for the endo scan vertical endo this bite block is mainly for for the files so in this area we will have our files like in the last tooth in the, la the upper last we have the, 
the file for example here we have a file and we don't want patient to bite on that file so then our sensor will aim this tooth and the patient will bite on the bite block so that this will help in saving the file from from misplacement similarly so this is for the upper right and the same configuration will go for the lower left okay so so let's say our file is here in the lower molar our sensor is exactly aiming this tooth and the and the patient is not biting on this where the, where there is a file so so the this one is again for the same technique but upper left and lower right then the horizontal positioning for upper left and lower right so you can see this this positioning is not right this is the correct position and so now the patient this is as you know this is for lower right and upper left okay so this can go like this now you can change the side like this and now the horizontal position and the patient needs to bike on this bite block so we can we, we are saving our files from any displacement here on the last molars similarly this is for the upper left okay and this is same but this is for lower left and upper right so these are the positioners achieving accurate results are dependent on several key factors so number 1 is of course the alignment of the sensor to the x-ray beam which we are taking care with the aiming ring because our sensor is exactly in the center of the ring and we are sure that we are exposing the the, the complete area of the sensor and the ease of patient comfort so with these positioners uh, the the it is very comfortable to take the x-rays you will also feel comfortable while taking the x-rays and the patient will also feel comfortable in biting on the blocks or biting on the flat surface or um, uh, occupying the sensor in the in the oral cavity is i mean very easy with the with the help of the positioners so thank you